Hello guys and girls, my name is Stephen Mustard and welcome to Tot.sm. I've got a nice little tutorial for you today. It is on how to make a bootable USB drive for free NAS. Now it's quite a simple tutorial and I'm going to run through it all in a minute. But there's one or two things. I've already created this tutorial for 9.2.1.9. You probably noticed when you search for this tutorial. Now what has changed is that there's a new version, it's 9.3 and in this change they got rid of the image so with the image what you could do is just shove it put that image onto the USB drive and then boot off that USB drive and then you've got free NAS but now what you get is you put the ISO onto the USB drive then boot off the USB drive and then you've got to install it onto a, another USB drive or onto a hard drive or um, or SSD. Now it isn't much of a problem but it just means that you've got to have two USBs or you've got to install it onto something else. Um, the other, um, and this is because of the multi-drive that they've done, this is what's new in here and as you can see here it says they're using a multi-drive installer. Now the other change is if you are going to install it into a USB drive, so you've already put it onto the, this USB stick and then you're going to put it onto a USB drive, then you've got to make sure that USB drive is at least 8 gig or higher to make FreeNAS run. So that is that. So let's get installing onto a USB drive. So first you need to download FreeNAS. And I've already done that, so I'm not going to show you me downloading it because there's no point. And then you need to download a Win32 Disk Imager and download the latest version and install it. If you're a Windows user, you know how to install a program, so I'm not going to run through that one either. either. And then you are up to here. So I've got the image. Well, the ISO. And what you want to do is just search for Win32 and open it up and then you want to select the image so mine's on the desktop so I'm going to click on desktop and then you want to click here and click on the dot with the two stars and then just click on the image and then you want to make sure you got the right drive so mine is just coming up with a D so there's mine and then oops and then you just want to press right and that is it so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe rate and comment and hope to see you soon in the future i'm going to be doing this tutorial for mac linux as well so that's it really so uh, thank you for watching bye